was become, becoming rather popular in Canada. I don't know why, but there was a kind of a vitality that, uh, and a consciousness, uh, awareness uh, in the country about the artistic life. Of the, almost, almost as if we're now a kind of a nation rather than a colony. Mm. And, and there was a big emphasis on the arts, and I remember uh, a lot of attention was being attached to British Columbia artists, uh, uh, and maybe Emily Carr was part of that uh, flowering period. And there was a, a point where the director of the National Gallery was coming all the way out to BC to meet some of the art artists there yeah. <laughs> and uh, he since we knew who he was uh, uh, we said well we'll arrange a little party and ask some of the artists local artists around to the house and uh, you, you can meet a lot mm -hmm. of uh, artists people like Gordon Smith and Don Jarvis and so on and so he came and uh, and he had a good time. We had a party, and and then uh, as as he left, he said, "You know, this was a wonderful party." But he said, "I really didn't like the food," and I was a bit hurt until the next day when I looked at a still life that I was painting that had some oranges and apples on it and most of the fruit was missing in the still life that was probably sitting there for two weeks. Oh. <laughs>